This is what happens when you bring together a Swiss visionary entrepreneur and a great Indian architect. At the crossroads of architecture and design lies Vitra Campus. For decades, Rolf Fellbaum, chairman emeritus of Vitra, has shaped this remarkable landscape, inviting visionary architects to leave their mark. A few years ago, an Indian experience inspired a new idea. I have a great love for India. Everybody who is to India gets out of India a changed person. During his visit to the Sun Temple in Madira, India, Rolf was captivated by a small shrine within the complex. He envisioned that introducing such a contemplative space into Vitra campus could add a new dimension. Wouldn't it be great if Doshi did something like that for the campus? And I went to Doshi and said, it's a very small project, would you, would you be interested? And Doshi said, sure, I would love to do it. Balkrishna Doshi was India's most well-known architect and a Pritzker laureate. When he got the Pritzker, the chairman of the jury said, of all the living architects, he's the one who has spent most time to think about the spiritual side of architecture. In that sense, he's really unique. There's nobody like Doshi. The vision for what would become the Doshi Retreat emerged through an intimate dialogue between Doshi and two other architects, his granddaughter Kushnu and her husband, Zonka Hoof. The conversations we had were about, not about what, what should we build, but about what is it that we want people to feel. Doshi passed away not long after. But Kushnu and Zonka transformed his vision and notes into reality. It's an experience and hopefully opening doors in the mind. That's what we hope. I think that's what Doshi wanted us. And that was what Doshi did to everybody who yes. was around him. He, yes. he opened doors. Yeah. Once we decided that we were going to look for steel, we found that Arsilal Mittal had this X-carp steel in the process of then making the new steel out of that recycled material, ArcelorMittal uses renewable energy, which is mainly sun and wind. The steel is made without any carbon footprint from that side. My grandfather, he was a person who always wanted to be free. He told me not to be too serious. Like, I think when you are free, then you immerse yourself in things and that's when things happen. It's a new experience. It's a path and the destination. So for Doshi, that was always very important, this sort of journey. He always talked about the journey. Journey has the capacity to play with time. It's free. It's, it doesn't have a brief. It doesn't have a program. It's, it's pure feeling. And in the process, maybe you encourage a kind of presence of being.